Yesterday, the New Jersey Devils went to the UBS Arena in Long Island to take on the New York Islanders. Kapo Kakonen, the Devils goalie, had an amazing game, shutting out the Islanders, helping the Devils get to a 4-0 win. Fans from both teams showed up to the arena. It was about a 75-25 to split, maybe 80-20 in favor of the Islanders for the fans. And both teams are currently fighting for a playoff wildcard spot. Currently, the Washington Capitals hold that spot with 79 points, followed by Detroit, who has 78 points, and then the Islanders got 75 points, and the Devils got 74. The Islanders look better than they really are, though, in the standings because 15 of their 75 points have come from 15 overtime losses. They did come off to a good start in this game, though, as they had a few good opportunities in the first minute, but they couldn't cash in. The Devils then turned it around the second minute of the game, getting some opportunities of their own, hitting the puck off the crossbar, but they too could not score a single goal. And then the Islanders kind of just took over for the rest of the first period, and they won 58% of face-offs. They won the shots on goal battle 13-6. to However, they did not finish the period strong as they had three penalties within two minutes and eight seconds. That allowed the Devils to start the second period with a five-on-three where they scored the first goal of the game. And then the Devils went on to score another two times within less than six minutes, basically putting the game out of reach for the Islanders at the score of 3-0. to zero. The Devils picked up three penalties in the second period, putting the Islanders on three power plates in addition to the two that they had in the first period. But once again, they couldn't capitalize on any of them. And their poor 21.4% power play really showed as they couldn't do anything against the Devils' 80.8% penalty kill. Then Timo Meyer and Anders Lee got into a big fight that resulted in three penalties for each player. For Meyer, he picked up a 10-minute misconduct as well as a 5-minute major and a 2-minute minor. On the other side for Anders Lee, he picked up two 5-minute majors and a 2-minute minor. In total, that resulted in a 4v4 for 2 minutes at the end of it all. And then the Devils had a three-minute power play. They couldn't cash in. But in the third period, the Islanders then had a big opportunity where Kyle Palmieri actually looked like he scored a goal. But on the replay, it was waved off because he actually hit the puck into the net with his hand. So unfortunately, the only goal of the game for the Islanders was called off. And then Chris Tierney's empty net goal at the end of the game then put the dagger in the coffin if it wasn't already there. And this Islanders team really did not look like the team that thwacked the Winnipeg Jets on Saturday 6-3. Both teams are going to have chances to bounce back, but both teams are going to have tough matchups in their next game. The Devils take on the Toronto Maple Leafs up north on Tuesday. And on the other side, the Islanders will be able to rest until Thursday. And then they're going to head to Sunrise, Florida to take on the cup favorite Florida Panthers. With WFEV Sports, I'm Will Jay.